And welcome back to the Indigo Disc Blind Nuzlocke Episode 2. Let's rock with some trainer battles. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do this episode. I said I'm going to get four encounters in every single area because the areas aren't really spread. I saw trainers. I want to battle trainers. I want to kick this off with battling trainers. If that said, I have Gardevoir and I have... Oh, for just a second, I thought that was completely something else. Uh, I have Gardevoir and Bexcalibur that are at level 79 and I believe level 81. Those are a little high level for what I'm doing around here, so getting that next encounter is going to be important because I think it's about time we bail on those two and reserve those for, like, Carmine battles. So that is really cool. I like this. The trap inch holes... That is exactly how you found Trap Inch in Pokemon, well, the new Pokemon Snap. I love that because that's exactly how we found them there. Uh, where were all the trainers? I saw a bunch of trainers, and I swear, I was like, okay, yeah, the next episode, I'm going to kick it off by battling all these trainers. It's going to be battle, battle, battle. It's going to be the heart of the Nuzlocke. And here I am now. I wish I could see what color you are because sometimes I'm worried that you're, you're shiny and I don't know. But no, you're good. Uh, all right, I'm going to cut to the next trainer I can even find. We're going to do that. Well, here's a trainer. Dude, I don't know what's so hard about finding trainers now. All of a sudden, I saw a million of you all over, scattered. The coastal biome lies on the other side of this wall here. You ready for a nice beach vacay? Going to vacay all over your team. Uh, Cav the student. Are we battling singles or doubles? I thought we were doing doubles in this region. Okay, he's got doubles. Just <laughs> He had one Pokeball in his hand, but we got doubles. Caesar and Scyther. And they're level 75. So my first move is swapping out. Um, boy, I don't have a lot of options, do I? Let's swap out to Lapras. And then for you, let's go Avalanche and take out the Scyther. He'll outspeed you. I guarantee it. So I figure that what I'll do here is I'll try and catch some Pokemon so we have a lot of Pokemon early on in the Nuzlocke. Mainly because I want to form maximum attachments to them, you know? You always want get, to get them early so your attachments have plenty of time to mature so that, you know, you feel more of a loss when they die. I wish the camera was backed out just a little bit more. Oh, that's all you had? Uh, okay, uh, let's go... Hydro Pump on you, and let's go Crunch on you. Um, I wish the camera just backed up just a little bit. Yeah, but unfortunately for Bax Calibur, you don't have exactly a whole lot of moves that you can use to, to work through this. So they're level 75, so maybe I don't... Oh, man, this... <laughs> All right, uh, go with... You know what? Here's what we're going to do. I said I was only going to heal in battle, so go with a Max Potion on you, and then Crunch to finish off the Caesar. Um, I'm surprised I outspeed a Caesar at all, actually. Uh, heals him up for the next battle, and I'm ready to go. Crunch, down you go. Dude, I, uh, I am legitimately surprised you're level 75. That's, that's higher than Carmine was. So now my question is, am I overleveled or am I not? I can't decide. I can't even see you because of this camera. Oof, I think I could use a cool dip after that burn you just gave me. Right on. Just cutting straight to the next battle. I don't know where it's going to be, but I'm going to find it. I really can't decide, honestly, if I'm over level or not, so I'm just going to keep going with it as is. Sorry to bother you, but do you know where we are? I'm completely lost. Let's battle. Dig the Zeb Striker behind you. But, oh, dude, by the way, Armin the student. I would absolutely love if my next encounter is a crocodile. Mandibuzz and Vibrava. Mandibuzz, I think that my favorite thing about the fact that Mandibuzz even exists is that it's a buzzard, and I love it. <laughs> All right, so do we Ice Punch the Vibrava and then Avalanche the Mandibuzz? We do is the answer. Air Slash on a Fighting type. Oh, crap. I don't know why I thought everything would be okay. He uses Dragon Claw on Kratos, which is good because he broke it up. Ice Punch takes you out. Goodbye. Now let's see if we can drop an Avalanche on you. How many Pokemon do you even have? I didn't check. Getting a lot of experience here. That's why I don't want to overlevel, but I don't think I have to worry about that. Ooh. All right. So we're definitely switching out. Go to Lapras again. And then for you, 
Uh, I say we attack with Avalanche again. I think that's pretty easy because you telegraph your move by attacking me with a uh, super effective move. And now you can go for the kill. I think everybody on the planet could tell you where this is going. <laughs> air Slash. Air Slash on the Pokemon that was weak to it. Easy. Next battle, please. Also, I don't know where you're at. I don't know how to get you back home. But uh, you're probably going to starve out here, man. But don't worry. It's a school. I'm pretty sure they know your ID. They have your location. They'll send somebody for you. Hopefully, it's before you die. Thank you for the applause. So sorry for the poor show in battle, too. Take a sip of this here coffee and go find my next battle. I don't feel like doing my homework. Well, uh, that's pretty much the school experience right there. I mean, I really don't want to do my homework. So I ended up coming here to the terrarium. To be fair, I mean, uh, that was probably one of the nice things about college versus high school for Michael, the student here, is sometimes you just want to walk around aimlessly at night, but you don't want to be like out in the middle of nowhere you know like so you're living at home you're in high school but when you're on campus you're when you're walking around you're on campus like you're always around stuff so it's not like if you're just like you know what it's a nice night i'm just gonna walk out of my dorm and go enjoy some stuff you can uh i did that a fair a fair amount i'm gonna switch i can't switch into you though switch into caesar we got to get out of the psychic types here the psychic types are really bothering me here with <laughs> Let's go Avalanche. And I'm guessing I've got a Vibrava, a Brava, Vibrava Bug Buzz coming. That is my prediction. Loki Kirja. Bug Buzz? Bug Buzz. Look at that. Predicted and we're good. Nice. Um, it looks like, ooh, Shield on used Bulldoze. All right, hang in there. There we go. Easy. I was going to say, both of you guys should be all right. The speed being down is actually good for Avalanche. And Caesar, you weren't really speedy as is anyways. The only problem I've got is that I said I was going to do this without healing, and this is the third trainer, and I'm just starting to see a lot of, uh, is seeing a few problems here. So let's go bullet punch and avalanche again. Knock him down. Bullet punch won't do, well, it did more than I thought it would. All right, he kicks up a sandstorm in a last act of desperation. These trainers are going down one after another, man. Goodbye. So that avalanche didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. See, that was totally backwards. I thought the avalanche would do a little more. I mean, I know it wasn't very effective, but it's look at the Pokemon that's using it. Um, but yeah, let's use Crunch. Bullet Punch might even kill. Ah, it gets close. All right, what do you got? Nope, I outsped somehow. I question if that was a speed tie after I got my speed lowered. All right, uh, I will figure out what I'm going to do if I'm going to heal between now and the next battle. I'm getting pretty low. You know what? Even by beating or even getting beat by you doesn't make me want to go do my deal with my homework. Preach. That's literally the high school experience. All right. It'd be kind of cool to have uh, have done a, a high school on campus. Oh, is this another trainer or did I already battle you? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Let me switch up the team a little bit here. You know what? Never mind. Actually, I don't have to. Let's uh, let's go right into it. I like Venomoth's eyes are hilarious. I always Venomoth eyes are just the greatest eyes on Pokemon. Think you're good at double battles? Why don't you test that theory by battling me? But he's it, the way he was looking at me. He's like, "What are you doing, Dum Dum? Everybody up in the front is actually Darius the student. Everybody on your team that's up front is the ones you want." All right, Volibee and Do, Do Duo, perfect. Um, now I gotta ask myself, what could you possibly have that would be dangerous for me? And I don't think it's anything. I think we're good. So I'm going to, I'm going to attack. Well, it has no effect. I can't attack the dark type, but I'm thinking we focus our efforts on the Doe Duo. Lunge. Oh, hits on the grass type. It hits me hard. I really hope you don't, you used a track. Thank God I get to live. <laughs> I live to see another day. I knew you were going to use something. I just couldn't decide what it was going to be. I was like, it, I, I didn't have any idea. I just knew I was going to hold it off. The problem is I didn't hold that off even close to what I thought. All right, drop that avalanche on that Doe Duel. That down he goes. Let's switch out Janny and Volby. I don't know what attacking moves you would even have. I really couldn't. I, I would assume Bite is probably in your arsenal, but um, let's swamp out to Raven. And then we'll attack you with avalanche since I'm slower than everything on Earth. The only thing slower than me is, like, nose pass. <laughs> All right, here we go. 
That's four trainers. Didn't have to heal. Didn't have to break my... Foul play. That was a good one. Yeah, I, I didn't think about that. Foul play would be excellent. Ooh, close. Very close. All right, well, let's, uh, let's hit you and finish you up. This is it. I would normally cut out boring battles, and this one wasn't that boring. I'm just saying normally I'd cut them out, but... I, I don't see us battling a whole lot in this Nuzlocke outside of gym battles and Elite Four members. And I wanted to give you guys something. So there's four trainers right there anyways. And I think you don't have to tell me twice. You're an ace at double battles. I think it's time for another encounter. Venomoth, I actually would not be disappointed if you were the encounter. So I've earned, I came back. I think it's a good way to do this is I made my way back to the healing station. So let me heal up. And go for another encounter. Um, how do I want to do this is... Let me jump from the other side. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'll just sit in this bush. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start here. And I'm going to jump over that cliff. And whatever Pokemon I catch, that's it. So eyes closed. Here we go. We're going to start it right now. And I ran into somebody right off the bat. And it's a Magby. Okay. Okay. I dig it. I mean, I don't dig the fact that I have a grass type and you're a fire type, so I'm going to switch that out really quickly. There are a couple more trainers I think I can battle around here, and then I guess I'll continue. I'll, uh, well, yeah, I'll go to the other side, and I'll grab another encounter. I said four encounters apiece. Yeah, I knew that fire blast was coming. Uh, I said four encounters apiece. Eh, I might still stick to that, but I think just a couple right now. I'll grab a couple encounters. Few trainer battles, and then I'll go talk to to whatever his name was, Dra Drayton. Also, Magby, you're a baby Pokemon. You need to just chill. Let me catch you, and then you know we'll proceed on with our day. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee while you sit there in the ball. Also, I have that critical catch charm. So what are you even doing right now? You should be staying in the ball. I have a higher chance of getting critical catches, and you're breaking that lore. Magby, are we doing this? Are we doing this. Nice low kick on a on a fairy type. Once again, are we doing this? I'm throwing ultra balls at you. I mean, it is nighttime for what? I mean, technically it's a giant projector screen. I was gonna say, do I need to throw a dusk ball at you? So Magby will be the first reserve Pokemon. Let me go ahead and uh, get you a name. All right. Henceforth, you shall be known as Hephaestus, and I will stick you in, and you're the first reserve. So much mud. Well, yeah, better get used to the taste of that. All right, I'll do a few battles here, and then I'll catch one more Pokemon outside of this biome. I'll go to another biome. Uh, playing in the mud is the best, right? I hope you're ready to have your face in it. Did you just use my line? I, w I, I was the one that was joking about. Sarah, you're, yeah, you're going in the mud. We're doing this. We're literally fist fighting after this. Sandile and Karakarok. All right. Interesting that you bring the, uh, well, how do I want to do this? Actually, I think I'm, I'm going to do this just fine. I'll be fine. You guys have dark attacks. This is what I don't like about this. But also, you just lowered Bax Caliber down to nothing when it comes to <laughs> all of his, uh, his moves. So... I'm going to use Avala. No, I thought I outspeed you. Take out the Karakarok. Icicle Crash. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to outspeed. So that takes you out. Yeah, so if Executor, Executor, if you can land that Leaf, leaf Storm rather before Sandile uses Mud Slap, we're good. He dies in one hit. Here we go. You should have brought uh, Karukadile. Karakarok is cool and has a sweet voice in the English anime. <laughs> But uh, no, no, no dice. You're done. Easy. All right. Oh, you did have Crocodile. All right, we're not done. I apologize. We are going strong, man. We are not done here. All right, Crocodile is here, and same thing, same strategy. Everything should be fine. I don't see anything going wrong. Thief. He uses a dark move. That's a very strong hit. I honestly didn't see you doing that. I knew you were a dark type, and I was afraid that something might go wrong, but I don't know why I keep getting away with this, because there are several other dark moves you could have used, foul play being one of them, that uh, you could have destroyed me with. But All right. Well, that's that. I mean, when you get stuck on a 2v1, you're toast. 
Oh, I ended up with mud on my face. You big disgrace. All right, let me run over here and kick some face. The Elite Four of the BB League. That is not you. But I'm going to take them down, no problem. My goal is to defeat... Yeah, good luck. Keep, just keep shooting high. I encourage you to. But for now, uh, you can... You're going to face somebody who can beat the Elite Four, so good luck. Blitzel and Rotom. I like how Rotom has a mythical Pokemon. I don't even know if Rotom is even considered mythical anymore. Also, I hate that I switched out to a freaking water type, and now I see electric types. Really? I mean, I didn't want to use uh, Crabominable because of that reason. But you know what? Obviously, we're swapping in. So uh, let's battle and go with Crunch on... Yeah, go with the Rotom. I was thinking, I was like, maybe I should go Avalanche on the Zeb Strika. I could probably take out Rotom on a single Crunch. That's my guess. Where'd you even get a Rotom? I mean, I know that... Oh, good, good thing I didn't do that, I guess. Uh, so in... I mean, I would say that I'm... I'm considering Rotom pretty common now, especially since everybody has a Rotom phone. My only question is, how come we can't take the Rotom out of the phone and use that to battle? But if, if she's got a Rotom, I'm kind of interested in finding that. And, you know, maybe maybe a future hunt, you know what I mean? Uh, all right, so... <laughs> you could have a flying move. What do we do? Uh, let's say... Let's go back into Marco... Because I don't expect Zeb Strika to, uh, to do anything dangerous. So uh, even though I could take out the Vibrava, I'm, the Vibrava, I'm going to try and take that Zeb Strika out. I'm going to swap in. Let's go Marco. Lapras, you're going to be just fine because why would... You did use it. Oh, I can't believe you attacked me. I thought... I don't know what I was thinking, I guess. Dragon Pulse on the Dragon type. That's predictable. Uh, Avalanche, I can't believe you did that. So I was hoping that Blitzel would go after Arctabax, or Baxcalibur rather, but uh, did not. So you, you skunked me on that one. Now the question is, do I... No, I don't need to. I was going to say, you know what? I've got two ice types. Both of them are slow, but it's fine. There's nothing... Actually, I outsped you. I forgot. I used Icicle Crash. You're good. Goodbye. And that's that. Do I want to keep battling? No, I want to go get another encounter. Uh, do I want them all in this biome? No way. Are you in the upper ranks yourself? You know what? Let's go in this biome. I'm going to get a third encounter. I have not decided if I'm going to get four encounters yet. Because four... I, I don't know what other opportunities I have to catch Pokemon. But uh, you know what? Let's... Uh, Crispin for the Elite Four. I've got another battle here. Screw it. You're here for battles. You're going to get battles. I'll be right back. All right. Crispin of the Elite Four. Let's rock. I've got lunch in me. I've got a fresh cup of coffee. Do you want to know why Crispin is strong enough to be a member of the Elite Four? Uh, well, Crispin is a member of a local school club organization's Elite Four. Kashif, Crispin, and you have something in common. You're both a joke. Look at you in that little hairline of yours. Crocodile and Mandibuzz. <laughs> I, I healed up, and I'm glad I did because... I was going to do a few more battles, and he sent out fully evolved Pokemon. I mean, this guy, this guy's leading off with, uh, uh, let's go, let's go charm on the crocodile. And then for you, Terastalize. And I'm going to tell you why I'm Terastalizing, because I'm worried that he is going to have Fire Fang, and that is not going to be good for me. Crocodile always has all the, the fang moves constantly. So I'm going to use Iron Defense, and I'm going to try and set up a little bit here. I'm going to lower his attack like crazy, because the Mandibuzz, I'm kind of ruling out, and I shouldn't. But I don't know, I'm not super familiar with what Mandibuzz has. I'm assuming the typical dark moves I need to worry about, Assurance, Foul Play, Snarl. All right, hit him with a Charm, nice. Attack is down, and I'm going to... Oh, he had exactly what I thought he had. He had Fire Fang, dude. Uses Toxic. Well, now that I'm set up like crazy on Crabominable, I know exactly where this is going. Nice. All right, so... Since you have an Iron Defense, and I know I'm going to have to use a Full Restore on you, which is one of my only two healing items I get, and I keep repeating that just because... Um, let's go Calm Mind, and I think they're going to both attack you. Let's go Iron Defense. 
Oh, wasted it. Used to protect. I am setting up on you, man, and you have no idea this is... You are getting smoked on this one, man. You're toast. Special attack is up, and then I'm going to hit you with a moon blast, and it's going to hurt. Sandstorm. That was a good move. He sets up a sandstorm. All right. Iron defense. I'm. You know what? I almost wonder if I should do it again, honestly. <laughs> I could. All right. Well, let's... Uh, because you used protect, I'm going to take you out, Mandibuzz. You're toast. All right, so Fire Fang is definitely coming this way. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, attack and special attack are up. So we're going to Moonblast you. And then for Crab Abominable, I knew exactly what you had, man. I knew exactly what you had. I'm going to full restore. Heal that poisoning. That is one healing item. I only have one more left in my arsenal. And I believe that is going to be an easy kill on you. Moonblast takes you out. What? You survived? I hate that you survived. You barely survived, and now you have a tailwind. Oh, that sucks, dude. You have a freaking tailwind, and you made it out of that alive. All right. Um. So if you're going to use protect again, I know exactly what I'm going to do. You. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you use? Leftovers? I didn't use items because I thought you weren't going to use items. You brought leftovers. Use Charm on Crocodile, and then you use... Do I want to take him out? I could just use Iron Defense. Yeah, set up the Iron Defense. Using Stomping Tantrum. Yeah, he's... Ooh, I wonder... Toxic again. I hate it. He knows exactly what to do. I was hoping you would use a Protect. All right, so now I have questions. Which one gets the last healing item? Crocodile is pretty much a waste at this point. He is so low on attack... And I am so high on defense over there that I don't mind. So I think, I think Raven, I'm going to be careful with you. I might actually be swapping you out. So now the question is, do you think he goes for protect now? I bet he does. I bet he goes for protect. So if he's going to protect, I could swap out. Hmm. Or I could calm mind. I don't know which one to do here. I could use calm mind. And heal coffee. I think I'm probably going to be swapping you out. So if you're going to go with protect, I think I'm going to switch out to Bax Caliber. Yeah, let's switch out to, you know what, actually switch out to, uh, let's go. I know he has Fire Fang. No, you know what? Switch out because his Fire Fang isn't going to do anything. I was going to say he's low. Uh, I could set up a Reflect, though. Yeah, set out. Uh, let's let's swap you in and let's uh, actually, yeah, let's not full restore. Let's, hmm, this is tough. Go for a Brick Break on Crocodile. Just do some damage. I can't go for anything on Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is probably going to use Protect. All right, let's see what you got. Stomping Tantrum. All right, you didn't go for what I thought you would. Uh, well, actually, I don't know what I thought. It's foul play. Dude, yikes. That was no good. Brick break on him. I thought he was going to go for a... Uh, ooh, yeah, leave him right there. He's useless. He's, he's literally useless. All right, so you didn't go for what I thought you were going to go for. So with foul play, now I got to ask myself, what do I want to do here? I wish I had bulk up on him, Crab Omnibule. All right, so they're definitely going to go for Executor. So I need to switch out Executor. Foul play, huh? Let's switch out to, yeah, let's switch out to Marco, and then you can attack and take out Mandibuzz. And then I'm going to have to full restore you because the poison's getting too much. All uh, right, that should be good for defense. Fire Fang, absolutely nothing. Protect, foul play, good. I was going to say, if you protect, I'm going to be mad. All right, you're down the, you're, you're low too. All right, what are your last Pokemon? This is going to, you have two more left in the tank. Crocodile is useless at this point. I charmed him so badly, he's not doing anything. All right, Sandstorm is gone. Let's see who you got. 
coffee by that poisoning. It's killing me. Tailwind is gone. That's good, too. Cleavor? Dude. He's got a Cleavor? Well, now, now I have to switch out, so... Ice, ice, oh my god. <laughs> uh, switch to Vaxcalibur, and let's heal you from that poisoning. Last healing item coming out right now for Crabominable. Alright, so this, this is no good. I need to obviously adjust my team not to have so many ice types, but Crocodile, you are down to nothing, and your double charm is pretty much, you're screwed, so you have no special attacks. I know you don't. Crocodile with that sandstorm. That's the best you got, honestly. All right. What do you have? Are you, I was going to say, are you going to use your signature attack? And it looks like you do, but you miss. I wish I had protect here so badly. <laughs> I don't know if you can take it. Kratos has insane defense. You're going to go last, I, I assume? Yeah, you're going to go last. Let's take the Cleavor out. I can't risk this. Um, let's brick break the Cleavor in the face. Yeah, we're going to brick break Cleavor in the face. Let's go. Stone Edge, that won't do much. Ooh, it does a little bit more. I was hoping you were rendered useless. This is the one I'm worried about. Okay, I was talking about taking Kratos off the team. I guess that settles that. Oh, he gets the stones out to the, uh, oh, that attack is crazy, dude. At least he lost some of his HP. Brick break, please just kill this fool. Yeah, it wasn't even close. All right. Um, hmm. I say we go out to... No, I can't go. You're going to be weak to it. Switch out, and let's go. I got to take this Cleavor out now, dude. This guy is crazy. This guy is an elite. Um, bullet Punch, I feel like, isn't going to take you out, but I'm going to try it. And in the meantime, Brick Break one more time. Please kill him. Oh, no. He's so close. Good. Does nothing. Aerial ace. Oh, it hits hard, but it does nothing. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. He's dead. He had he had an orb on him, dude. He had an a adamant orb or whatever the hell. You know what I'm trying to say. He had the orb on him. I, didn't, I thought stone axe. I was like, that, that attack is crazy because he's got two effects going. He drops spikes. Or, uh, uh, sorry, stones, rather. And then he's also uh, hurting himself when he uses that. But that's not the case. That's not... He's got a Rhyperior, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So, do we bullet punch him? What has he got? Beat this guy up. Kill him, man. Kill him. That does not do anything. I needed to do way more than that. Please, kill in one shot. You're terrestrialized. Oh, my God. This Rhyperior, dude. Oh, there goes my defense a little bit. Don't use something flame. Stomping Tantrum. Oh, holds it off, and I win. I outspeed, and I win. Oh, my God, dude. I lost Kratos, though. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, hit him with that bullet punch. Oh, dude, what was this guy all about? He's dropping sandstorms. He's dropping, like, oh, God. He had uh, he had that Mandibuzz, had Loftovers. This guy, youch, you're tough enough to take the heat of battling Crispin. I was worried about Baxcalibur being too overleveled. And as it turns out, Baxcalibur... Dude, Baxcalibur is not only dead, but everyone else is like, oh my god. I was worried. I was like, hey, he's too high level. I need to get I get need to get rid of him. Sorry, I had hiccups. Uh, I had to get rid of him, and I got rid of him. Let's uh let's let's show it on screen. Uh where's the underworld? The Underworld, it's getting a little crowded in here. Kratos, I would have put items on you if I knew he was using items. Raven, you're the only one that survived from any Nuzlocke prior to this. I am beat, dude. I am absolutely beat. I'm not going to heal. I'm going to go catch a Pokemon really quickly. Um, 
let me let me do this. Let me meet you back up uh up there. I'm gonna head towards the wall and catch a Pokemon to replace Baxcalibur, who loyally and faithfully followed me for a long, long time, man. Closing my eyes, and we swivel now. Eyes are closed, man. I'm going to talk about Baxcalibur a little bit until I hear an encounter. So the thing about Baxcalibur, why I was like, and it's okay. It's a deerling is my encounter. Um, Baxcalibur was with me for a very long time and survived two Nuzlocks. I'm going to miss that thing, man. Go ahead and, uh, you know what? Actually, I could use seeing. It's a deerling. It's going to stay on the first ball. See? Baxcalibur, dude. I'm going to miss that thing like crazy, but... A Deerling is replacing a Baxcalibur. Uh, you could almost argue maybe I didn't get the best deal out of this. I almost wonder... Now, nah, you know what? Deerling, you'll be okay. I, I, you'll be fine. It, it's totally fine. Let me give you a name. All right, since Kratos was sacrificed on the way here to get to this Deerling, uh, we're going to go Atreus. <laughs> Add him to the party, and then that was one, two... That was three Pokemon I've caught in here. And I think now, in light of the fact that I just ran into a trainer that killed me, I realize there are chances that these battles could be intense. So I am going to stick with my original concept for Pokemon. So with that said, let me go. Let me go back to the story here, since that battle was crazy. Uh, what did it say, by the way? He was he was talking about. There's a freaking cross here, man. Um, he was talking about the elite four but he himself had said like he was an elite trainer so i'm guessing that there are pokemon trainers out here who are elites that you got to be careful about so i guess uh i'll meet you back over there but yeah i need to watch out for those trainers all right so i guess i'll explore the cafeteria uh and i'll explore the rest of the school after i get done with this part but for the meantime, this is the guy that sells you literally, it's like a blueberry special. And it literally is just like, yeah, you get shiny power. Go enjoy your shinies. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm not against people having shinies easily. It's just, my God, you know, at what point do you say shinies don't mean much when they're just spawning every two seconds? All right, let's talk to this dude. Hey, Nito, no need to stand there. Grab a seat. Don't be like, have a seat. Sit down, we need to talk. Here's your coffee, kid. Here's the Drayster take. The Academy Specials, the best thing on the menu. Yeah, that's the shiny thing, isn't it? It's all so soft, you can basically just gulp it down. Barely even need to chew. Chew your food, Drayton. <laughs> you and my ma would get along. So listen, your Pokemon are pretty strong, yeah? With a team like that, you've got a shot at becoming BB League champion. Wouldn't that be wild, an exchange student just rolling up here and snatching the crown? I want to see you in the BB League, Nito Marquis. You in? I don't know, man. It's kind of lame. You guys, look who's decided to grace us with their presence. Is that... Yeah, that's Kieran. Whoa, it's the champion. And the rest of the Elite Four, too. One, two, three... Oh, Drayton must be part of the Elite Four, and then Kieran is the uh, champ. What did you want to talk to me about? Nothing special, just thought we could grab a bite. Where better to do that than the cafeteria? What a waste of time. If you've got so much time to goof off, why don't you go train your Pokemon? You think maybe this is why you always lose to me? I'll take that as a no. So I can't swing a lunch date with you even if I've got your old pal with me. Hey, what's up? Uh, Nito Marquis. Long time no see. Why? Yeah, you can't take me, kid. You didn't hear he was coming to study abroad here? For real? Yes, it's true. Director Serrano, him, or Serrano himself introduced me to him to me when we were met at the school's entrance. We're already tight, us two. In fact, I was just asking Nina Marquis to join the BB League. Ooh, I like it. That'd be fire. What? A student from another school joining the BB, leg, un, a BB League unprecedented. That's right. It is unprecedented. I am here. Nita Marquis may be wonderfully capable in battle, but that doesn't mean he belongs in the BB League. Oh, come on. Do you all hate fun and friendship or something? Yeah, I am literally a champion. You will not survive me. You want to exclude someone who's taking in the same classes and living in the same dorms? He, he, how is he not one of us? And it's this place supposed to be, or, and isn't this place supposed to be all about students having autonomy? 
I think we should vote on it. I'm a yes, obviously. How about you, Lacey? I'm sorry, but considering the rules, it's a no for me. Wow, Lacey, you, you screwed me over. Crispin, what you got? Yeah, why not? He's at our school. That makes him a student like us, right? How about you, Amaris? What do you say? I abide by the rules of this institution. Proposition declined. And look, two against two, huh? All right, then. What it was the reigning BB League champion, our mighty Kieran? What do you say? Doesn't matter who I'm facing. I don't lose. Ha, huh, guess we got our answer. Uh, Kieran, wait. Drayton, manipulating people to get what you want? It's just not right. She's passive aggressive. And Kieran's just laid back, man. Sorry, Nino Marquis. Guess you'll be joining the, the BB League, huh? Well, let's look on the bright side. Maybe you and Kieran will come out better friends after this. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you every step of the way. But now that the decision's been made, we better officially get you signed up. Meet at the receptionist desk, desk in the school's entrance area. You know, I was thinking about the arc to Bax deal here, or Bax Caliber rather, and I just realized I did say I need less ice types, so I guess I got my wish. I'll probably train Magmar up and off screen and take care of that. Carmine's door room. Let's go see Carmine. Hey, Carmine. How come you get to decorate with all your stuff? Look at all this. You've got the legendary Nero Whiskash. This is the painting is so full of life you can almost feel the ocean spray. You've got little uh, bobbleheads, Gothelita, um, Curlia, Makuhita. Dude, you've got all the cool stuff. What are those pictures of? I can't tell. Yeah, I can't really tell what those are of. I think her parents are on there, and I think that's Kira in there. But, uh, da dun sparse. And you, Morgrim, I was shiny hunting you, and I found you on the very first encounter. After that, it's been a long, long time, and I am not done in Sword and Shield because I am still looking for another one of you. Not that it really matters that much. Lots of chocolatey treats line up. Dude, all these treats, she loves eating all the crazy stuff. Let's go to the League Club room. Oh, wait, isn't this where I'm supposed to go? Well, no, this isn't where I'm supposed to go. We're good. Weight training. Uh, you've got... Oh, I was going to say I wanted to run, but I can't. I slide down it, if anything. Protein powder. This just looks like a workout room. You guys just uh, work out. That's all it is. Pikachu and I are doing our best to fight up the BB League. Porygon Z. Pseudo Wudo. Wooper. Everybody's all hand-drawn. It looks hilarious. I love how they're actually, like, you can see... They're planning routes because obviously we do linear battles, but it, the actual battles you have to assume that the Pokemon are running around, you know. Class 1 through 3. Neat. It's a cool little classroom. Looks just like uh, the one I was dealing with. I love how advanced it does look, though. Some schools get that. 3-2. Well, here's everybody standing around. Hold on, uh, Lumberry, what's it holding? <laughs> I love this. This is, oh, look at the total. Is that an actual Totodile or a plush? In that one spot. One time I was walking in the meadows in the terrarium and a breeze blew out of nowhere. I thought I heard some someone singing. So weird. Yeah, your parish song, bro. All right, let's check the school store. I think is the last one I haven't been to. Neat. The the very mightiest. All Pokemon trainers dream of might. We're drawn to whatever's mightiest. I'd love to see a Pokemon with the mightiest mark someday. Can you show me one? Sure. I don't know where it's at. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, dude, I don't know where anything that has the mightiest mark. Oh, you know what? Mewtwo has it here. Mewtwo's got it. Whatever, whatever you give me here. What do you want to do? I want to select Mewtwo here. Wait, that Pokemon, it's Mewtwo the Unrivaled? It must be the mightiest of all. Wow, that's amazing. I'm jealous, but also inspired. All right, what do I get for showing you? Let me teach you a pose. Oh, it's a, 
the Charizard pose emote. Why am I not surprised that Pokemon would make Charizard the, the, the pose, rather, anything Charizard related, the peak? I'm not surprised. All right, what do you got for sale? Um, I, okay, it's all for BP. I don't have BP, man. Just checking what you got. Oh, dude, they actually... Okay. Well, I could use one of these. I guess I'll have to figure that out. 250. I need 250 because I got to evolve Magmar. All right. Well, I'll, uh, I might even try to train up off screen and figure out if I can optimize my team. All right, to the entrance we go. All right, let's see. Where are you at? Are my Pokemon still all beat up? Yeah, so don't battle me. My Pokemon are literally, they're, they're in fact, literally going to save here because I'm worried that I need to heal up and I'm going to get wiped if I don't. <laughs> uh, there you are. This is where you can get signed up for the BB League. All right, sign me up. How can I help you today? I want to join the BB League. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Ah, it says here you're an exchange student, which means you're not technically enrolled here at our academy. Oh, don't mind that. We Elite Four talked it over real quick. My friend here is good to join. I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm not sure if I can take what you say at va face value, Drayton. Wait, I thought Carmine wasn't talking to her brother right now. No, he's telling the truth. I'm allowing Nito Marquis to join the BB League. Yes, champion. One moment, please. Didn't expect you to ride up in shining armor and save the day. I've got a feeling you're trying to play Puppet Master. But if I get a shot at battling Nito Marquis, then that's fine with me. That's just peachy. Nito. You better not go losing to anyone until our battle. Yeah, like I'd lose, bro. I never lose. I've got Ogre Pond, remember? Good. I'm not a little kid anymore. Uh, yeah, you are. And you'll know it when I show you the best of the battle. Kiki, you shouldn't talk to Nita Marquis like that. Shut it, sis. Looking forward to seeing you climb the ranks. That'll be the next episode of the Nuzlocke. I'm sorry, Nita Marquis. Kiki was really acting out, wasn't he? That was my first time talking to him in a while, too. Man, such an attitude. Well, he's Big Mr. Deal, or I'm sorry, he's Mr. Big Deal Mighty Champion after all. Drayton, you're the one who dragged Nito into all this BB League drama, aren't you? Me? No way. This was all his idea. Right, Nito? Yeah, sure. It was. I got you covered, bro. That's the spirit. Feeling the human urge to do great things, right? I don't know. I think something fishy's going on. But, well, if you're going to do this, you might as well do your best. I'll be cheering for you. And please keep an eye on Kiki for me. All right, so we got, what, eight gym leaders, four elite four? Great timing. Nito is cleared to compete in the BB League. Usually, you'd start by battling regular students and climbing the ranks, but seeing as you've already got recommendations from several elite four members and Director Serrano, you'll start from a higher rank. You'll skip straight to challenging the elite four at their respective... What, what about gym leaders? Once you clear their trials, that is. Um, oh, do I, do I want to do trials? I don't know. Okay, well, there they are. The locations of each of your BB League has been okay. Um, To challenge the Elite Four, you'll need BP, which you can do. Oh, I guess I'm going to need some time, aren't I? I'm going to need to work on this. All right, best of luck in the BB League. You can start with whichever of us you want. Your call. Anytime you want to battle one of us, you'll just do a fun little trial we cooked up first soon, huh? Catch, them in, catch you in the terrarium. Here's what I think I'm going to do. Uh, since this episode, if I go for one of the league members and I need BP, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'll do the BP off screen because that's not something you're interested in watching, I know. I know it because I'm not interested in it either. So, like, I wouldn't watch that. Here's what I think I can do. Um, why don't I, why don't I catch one more Pokemon from each biome? Let's do that. Uh, yeah, you know what? Just give myself a couple options. I have to go do stuff anyways to prep and get BP to challenge these leaders, and that'll be the next recording. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to each of the terrariums 
And from there, I will catch one more Pokemon each. Are you a trainer? I never say no to a battle. But my ass is also kicked, so <laughs> I'm actually going to pass on that because you're not where I was heading anyways. So I'm going to run over to there. I caught two more Pokemon. Oops, that was an accident. I caught two more Pokemon in this area, this biome. So what I will do is I will catch a Pokemon in the ice biome. Oh, my God. You know, I'll just cut there. All right, the coastal biome. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... Climb up here, and the first Pokemon I see is literally the encounter. Very first Pokemon. First thing to spawn is a Torkoal. Now I got a bunch of abundance of fire types. But I'm okay with this. Uh, level 59, dude. You're going to need some work, but Torkoal is a beast. So I'm definitely going to train up this Torkoal. Stay in the ball. I was going to say, look, I'm, I'm kind of weak. Y you're using Curse. Like, come on, man. You're setting up on me, and it's annoying. Yes. He's asleep, and I've got the rain out just in case. There's the crit catch, and we're good. All right, I'll catch two more Pokemon, and I'll call it the end of the recording, all right? I think that's a good plan. Name it, and I'll see you in the next one. Next encounter. Dedicating that to Final Fantasy X2, Pain the Torkoal, because you were such a freaking pain to land a simple move on, a simple sing move. All right, I'll be right back. Gonna go that way, I think, right? Yeah. Dive bomb! All right, I'm closing my eyes now. Whatever I run into, I literally just flew in, so let's start this. Let's find a Pokemon. Got one. Dewgong, I am not in, I am not unhappy with that. I, uh, I, I dig it. I'm okay with this. Hit you with an Ice Beam. Ice Ball, I think I'm gonna... Abandon you in favor of uh, using an Ultra Ball. There, finally. Jeez. All right, switch you out. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Aura Bora. Send to the boxes. All right, one more catch, everybody. One more catch, and I'll call it an episode here. And then the next one, I will begin the official challenge of... All right, so whatever these cool little things are, here's what's going to happen. I'm getting annoyed at, uh, <laughs> I'm trying very hard to, uh, to get an encounter, and I keep failing. So, uh, what, yeah, I was going to say, whatever's at the top, I wanted to make sure there are Pokemon. I'm going to go all the way to the top, all right? And whatever's at the very top, here we go. First Pokemon I see. Scyther is not the encounter, because I technically... Already, yeah, I guess Minior is the counter encounter. So the reason I'm not going to go with Scyther is because I already have a, uh, a evolution from that line. So Minior is the encounter. So, <laughs> all right, Minior, you get to be the encounter. Perfect. Not perfect. Maybe. Shields down. And Minior. All right, let's catch Minior. And uh, this, how fitting it would be in an Ultra Ball, too, because uh, it's the right color for you. Minior, so I note that I was like, oh, hey, there's stars falling in Kitakami. You would think that Minior would be able to be found after that happens, but no. So I kind of laugh. Maybe I guess you could argue we saw the Minior flying into this area. No, because we're underwater. I don't know. Missed opportunity. Cosmic Void. Two reasons. Cosmic Void frequents my channel, and this thing is a cosmic-like Pokemon with eyes that pretty much look like a void. Send to the boxes. We'll figure out what we're doing with you, Meteor. Or Minior. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching, truly. Those are the last encounters I'm going to get for this. I appreciate your time, and I hope you're enjoying the series. It's going to ramp up, dude. There was That battle was intense that I lost back Excalibur to. That battle sucked. I will see you guys in the next one. And humble and proud, I'm Nito Marquis, and it's going to start ramping up here, man. We're going to start challenging some difficult trainers. Here we go. All right, I'll probably get some BP here in this... No way. No. Dude, is that what I think it is? That's shiny. That's shiny. That's, yep, that's, I knew that was shiny. Dude, what the heck? 
I did, first off, I think the only reason that they're even still spawning, look at it, the, the, there's a Duraludon or Duraludon outbreak here, and Duraludon's only still spawning because, what ball do I even want to use? You know what, I'm, I, I'm thinking, you know what, I think I'm going to use a Great Ball. I know it's dumb to do this, but I believe my Sword and Shield Duraludon was in a Great Ball as well. That was a lot easier because it was a raid, of course, but hey, the Nuzlocke is live. The Nuzlocke is live, which means that if I lose anything while I'm trying to catch this thing and meme it up with a Pokeball that I want to match whatever the color palette I feel like is, that is all legal. This all counts in the Nuzlocke. Just like every other shiny that I have encountered in Nuzlocke's, this is how it works. <laughs> I'm going to try to put it to sleep with seeing. I am glad that I healed up now. I was just running around. I need BP to continue in the Nuzlocke. <laughs> and this guy pops up, dude. The only reason that Duraludon is still even spawning is because the event is over, I believe. It is It is January 6th. Uh, the event is over. So this event that was spawning the Year of the Dragon event, uh, those are all done. But I never went online with the game, so it, never, it didn't know that it was time to reset this. So that or I wonder if the clock's even right. I, the clock has to be right. I, haven't mess, I don't mess with the clock, so it has to be right. So the only reason that these things are still spawning in an outbreak is because it hasn't gotten the kill signal yet. Uh, I haven't gone online, so I haven't reset it. I'm going to be careful with this. Don't, I, I know I'm being a little reckless. He's got Metal Burst. Um, I guess, uh, uh, come on, you got to land the Sing. You, I, I don't have that many Sings left. I, <laughs> I have not healed yet. I was on my way to heal. You got to land it. He's got Focus Energy, Metal Burst. And Flash Cannon. What's his last move? I just thought about this. I'm sure he doesn't have it, but technically he could have Dragon Tail, and then I would be very depressed. The only thing is that doesn't work, though. I mean, if you use Dragon Tail and I get kicked out of the battle, he will still be there. I could just re-encounter him. No, I thought it was close, man. I really thought that. <laughs> All right, I know. I am playing with fire here. I am playing with fire. Maybe I could throw a hydro pump his way. I just, I'm over his level so high, I don't want to risk it. Honestly, I know it's a level 62 Duraludon, so it's not going to be super easy to catch if I just keep throwing balls at it. I will consider possibly hitting it with a hydro pump and then switching out. Dude, I can't believe this. Oh, man, this is not, this, this game has been crazy for it. I'm going to hit him with a Hydro Pump. I'm going to hit him, and it's not going to kill. I know it's a Stab Hydro Pump, but he's strong against it. Here it goes. Yes, I landed it. Easy, easy. There we go. Good, 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 good. Let's go into Gardevoir. Let's get out of there. I'm, I'm out, man. I'm, I'm going to get out of there. Um, dude, this is not the first Shiny. This is like the fifth Shiny that has spawned in this Nuzlocke. Um, all of them were in the base game, Violet. And I remember there was... I was just talking about Janny. Janny the Executor is named Janny because Janny the Shiny Pseudo Wudo didn't make it through the Nuzlocke. <laughs> so now I have Duraludon here who's here to replace the now fallen Kratos. Stay in it. Stay in it. I'm going to be careful with this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Dude, Kratos may have fallen, but Duraludon, another dragon type, steps up in its place. Oh, man, that is sweet. What the heck? Full odds Duraludon during the Nuzlocke. It is a legal encounter. Since Baxcalibur was Kratos, this will be Typhon. Typhon, the Greek dragon. Typhon, you look sweet. This is my second shiny Duraludon, dude. Wow, that was amazing. I cannot believe that. That's awesome. I want to look at its moves really quickly. Dragon Claw. It did use Dragon Claw a couple times. I knew I was okay. I knew there was no Dragon Tail there, but it's not like the old games. That's a legal catch, man. Into the Pokedex you go, and that is a legal Duraludon. Dude, look at this outbreak just sitting here. I can't believe that. I was I was just going to go right through this. I don't even know how I saw it, to be honest. I caught it out the corner of my eye that his head wasn't red. <laughs>